We are coming from the School of Nursing at Bowling Green State University, one of the fastest growing programs perhaps in the country. This month, we're going to look at our simulation labs. We're gonna meet some amazing students and some of those terrific faculty members right here at BG. This month on the Rogers Report, it's nursing. Tell me about the nursing program at Bowling Green. Well, I love the nursing program here actually, and I think all of us had a decision to make and we heard a lot of good things about it and all chose to come here. So tell me, how, how do you do your planning for the labs? And how many different simulation labs are you? Um, on this floor, we have four different rooms that we can set up four different patient scenarios, um, but we have many upstairs as well. And we get creative and get things set up here or wherever we need to, to give them the experiences they need. You saw our high fidelity mannequins where they're breathing, they're blinking, they have lung sounds. Um, just anything we can to make the situation as real as possible for them to be able to practice in a safe environment. So tell me about this uh, simulation experience. What have, what have you learned? So with the simulation... Wait a minute, here, why is that dinging? What What's going on? Oh, her O2 is coming down. So right after we talk, that'd be a great time to administer the oxygen for this patient. Um, and with that, one of these is that we can put this Well, go ahead, let's on. do yeah, it. Yeah, let's see. Oh, she's even coughing. So this would be a great time to raise her up a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're gonna help Bonnie out here. I'm just gonna raise her up a little bit, get her airway going. And then with this oxygen, we have all of the resources in the simulation room where we have oxygen, we have our tubing, we have our IVs, we have all sorts of stuff in here to really give us that real feel in a hospital. We read in the press all the time about the, the shortage of nurses and, and uh, all of the, the role the nurses played during this past few years in the pandemic and just the, the amazing ways that they were on the front lines and, and made such a difference in our communities. But there's a real shortage of nurses now. So uh, what, what are we trying to do to address that shortage here at Bowling Green? We're really uh, working hard to recruit our students, to bring them into a fantastic program where we're able to create scenarios, patient care, ready to prepare them to enter the workforce. So tell me about how do you uh, build into the curriculum and the student experience, making sure that they're aware of, of all of the challenges that they will have uh, serving a, a very diverse patients. Right, that's a great question. So we do, we have mannequins that are like our geriatric mannequin here from newborns. We have a premature baby. We have a variety of ethnicities and races of newborn babies. We have children anywhere from two years up to adolescent, and then we have adult mannequins as well. We're in what simulation lab? So this is the birthing mother simulation room. This mannequin here will actually give birth to a small newborn child, and then we can practice different procedures and skills with her. Oh, she's crying. So I'm gonna take your blood pressure. Okay. Is that okay? Let's do it. Okay, and are you in a comfortable position? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, this okay. is Okay, okay, perfect. Is there a pulse? <laughs> Yeah, there's a pulse. <laughs> okay, good, I got a pulse, that's good. What do you enjoy the most in terms of being a faculty member here at Bowling Green? I love the students. That is my biggest joy, is dealing with the students and rediscovering my profession through their eyes, remembering the joy I felt as a student. Well, the trials too, but you know, the, the awe at what we can do. So I got into nursing because I wanted to take care of patients the way they should be taken care of. Enter into the education world, and in all of my years of pre-licensure education, I've graduated over 500 students, and I'm just one set of hands. But I have 500 sets out in the world. And with this program here, we're gonna be graduating hundreds and hundreds of more sets of hands. Thank you for joining us on this month's Rogers Report. You know, at Bowling Green State University, our mantra is public university for the public good. And, uh, well, hello. Uh, honestly, there's nothing um, more public good than making sure that we're developing programs that are serving the needs of our region, our state, the nation, and the world. And this School of Nursing, those students that we met today, they're gonna be frontline healthcare workers 
for us into the future. We are honored to have them as students at Bowling Green. Thank you for joining us. See you next month on The Rogers Report.